life right now. This is actually crazy. I am sitting in my brand new dream car. This is my Tesla that I got for my 16th birthday. This is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Do you want to win any of these items on your screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Crazy things JoJo Siwa spends her millions on. JoJo Siwa has been making headlines for years now as the bubbly and eccentric entertainer that's known by parents all over the world as a wholesome role model for their children. Beginning her career at a very young age, JoJo quickly became the standout star of the hit reality show Dance Moms. Rather than let her time in the spotlight fly by, she took that leverage and transformed it into a gigantic brand, which now includes music, household goods, clothing, dolls, cosmetics, TV shows, and live performances. She is currently only 16 years old and already rivals some of the world's most well-known entertainers. JoJo is currently in the middle of a world tour that's seen her perform at some of the largest venues on the planet to sold out crowds of children and their parents. All this has helped her amass quite a large fortune and her current net worth soars somewhere around $12 million. But what does a young superstar do with all of that cash? Spend it, of course. Here's a look at some of the craziest things JoJo Siwa has spent her millions on. The JoJo Mansion. At the ripe old age of 14, JoJo was already house shopping. She had been raised in Omaha, Nebraska, but due to her growing popularity, decided to move to sunny Los Angeles. She's posted videos to her wildly successful YouTube channel, showing off her crib, and even has videos dedicated to house tours. And it's no surprise because her home is unbelievable to see. It's adorned with countless images of herself, neon lighting, amusement park style games, and a huge collection of her own merchandise. It looks exactly like how you'd expect the teenage pop star's home to look like. However, from the outside, you never expect what awaits inside. While it's pretty hard to put an exact price tag on the home considering all of the renovations and additions that have been added since she purchased it, it's safe to say it's worth between two and three million dollars. That's a lot of cash to spend in one place. The home is beautiful though, despite all of the glittery decorations. It boasts hardwood floors, a gigantic kitchen complete with a walk-in pantry full of candy, a two-car garage which has been converted into storage for all of JoJo's merchandise, a second floor with multiple bedrooms and bathrooms, and even a basketball court on the side. It's unclear if her whole family lives with her in the home or not, but there's definitely enough space for a large group of people. And with all of the insane lighting and decorations, I'm sure she throws one awesome party. The Claw. One of the coolest items JoJo has in her home is a huge claw machine, the type you'd normally see at an arcade or amusement park. She's filled the machine with a bunch of her own merch and a few random items too. It's also been completely customized with bright pink neon lighting, and JoJo's own music plays while the game is in action. There are a lot of celebrities that visit JoJo to collaborate on videos, and having guests play the claw game seems to be a ritual. In March of this year, JoJo babysat Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's daughter, North. One of the first stops on the tour JoJo gave her was, you guessed it, the claw machine. It seems the machine has also been rigged to allow for unlimited play, which is great because it would seem kind of weird to feed quarters straight into JoJo's pocket. While there are many claw games on the market, JoJo is one of the most customized and personalized anywhere. With all the bells and whistles she added to the machine, let alone stuffing it with her own products, the game is worth a whopping $15,000. It sits in the hallway between the front door and kitchen, quietly flashing bright pink throughout the house. Seems like a pretty expensive decoration, but she certainly gets all the use out of it that she can. Nachos. JoJo Siwa has a love affair with food. As I mentioned earlier, her kitchen is ginormous and boasts a huge walk-in pantry filled with all types of snacks and candy. But if you were ever to visit her home, the first thing that would catch your eye when walking into the kitchen would be the nacho machines. Yeah, she loves nachos that much. The machines she has are exactly the kind you would find at stadiums or movie theaters. No cheap stuff here. It's a two-part machine that makes and dispenses the cheese while also heating and cooking the chips. It's completely self-serve, and in one of her house tour videos, JoJo makes herself a delicious-looking plate of nachos like it's nothing. The machine has its own dedicated counter space with classic theater-style paper plates stacked to one side, inviting anyone that visits to indulge. And of course, she's got all the toppings. While the price tag on these machines may not seem too outrageous, it's still pretty insane to know that someone and has them in their own home. The machines usually run about $2,000 a pop, and that's not factoring in the cheese and chips you must have on regular delivery. I'm sure, like most other items in her house, it's a great conversation starter. And who would love to make themselves a plate of nachos before watching a movie at home? Grand Piano. It's no secret that JoJo Siwa is a musician. While she may have started out with dance, she's grown into an all-around performer with a few chart-topping hits. 
She even proudly displays her certified platinum certificate on the wall near her merch room. Her music is the main focus of her current world tour, and while she doesn't have a music studio in her house, she has certainly filled it with all kinds of instruments. She has a full-size Casio keyboard in her room that set her back at least 500 bucks, and a beautiful pearl five-piece drum kit in her living room that cost her another 500 to to $1,000. But the most prized musical possession in her house is a full-size Steinway Grand Piano. Steinway has become synonymous with pianos over the years and are known as the holy grail of musical instruments. Most singer-songwriters own a piano, as it's probably the best instrument to compose new music with, but JoJo took it a step further by buying this classic piece. Steinway pianos are by no means cheap, and JoJo's could have cost her as much as 75 grand. Seriously. It's also interesting to note that while almost every inch of her home is plastered with JoJo stickers and flashy, glittery items, the grand piano is untouched. I'd say it's a good move because one day that piano could be worth over a quarter million dollars. Smart investment, JoJo. Bows! JoJo has built an empire of bows, the kind of bows girls like to wear in their hair. It seems almost every young girl has at least one of JoJo's branded bows, and it all started with Siwa's own love for them while starring on Dance Moms. Her oversized bows became a standout style. She now has collections that are sold at almost every major retailer and on her own online store as well. JoJo's obsession with bows has never gone away, and her personal collection has continued to grow. There was even a point in time when the search term, how many bows does JoJo Siwa have, was trending on Google. Since then, JoJo has up uploaded videos showing off her massive collection and has admitted to having over 800 individual bows. All of them are in different colors or materials and she regularly cycles through them. I also don't think there's a single picture of her without one of them in her hair. Since some of the bows are handmade by JoJo or other designers, the value of them is much higher than the ones you'd find at a boutique. I estimate that her huge assortment is worth at least $15,500. As time goes on, she will no doubt continue to collect and make more of them, so that number will only rise. It's estimated that from her own line of bows, JoJo has already sold over 35 million of them. That would mean she sells about two to every one of her 16 million followers on social media. Who would have thought bows could be so profitable? Merchandise! While it may seem a bit strange, JoJo houses a huge collection of her own merch at her home. The garage has been completely converted into rows of shelves and bins to house these items. Everything from dolls made in her likeness to cosmetic kits and her own brand of Lunchables have a place in this room. JoJo seems to be pretty adamant about her merch and even keeps the room under lock and key. There's a digital pin pad on the handle of the door that requires a secret password to unlock. It's unclear if she actually maintains stock in the room and gives away some of the merch to house guests or lucky fans or if she's slowly building a shrine to herself in her home. But either way, keeping it all under lock and key is a good move because of how valuable the items are. Although her dolls, for example, can retail anywhere from $80 to $150, which is still pretty hefty, she has multiples of every single one. And when you add up all the prices for her branded products, the merch room alone is worth over a million bucks. Well, now I'm going to take you in my favorite room of the house, which actually has a secret code on it, so... Booyah! Nailed it! Also, too, look at that, look at that. It's a platinum boomerang plaque. Love that. Okay, in here is the JoJo merch room. Gotta focus on your passion if you want to get it right. Gotta work real hard to have the life. Ever since I was with little, I was... -E yeah, there's lots of cool JoJo merch, but we just got this thing in today. JoJo Mobile. Most kids have to wait for their 18th birthday to be gifted a car by their parents, and even then, it's usually a Craigslist find with a bunch of miles on it. For JoJo, she not only got a car at the age of 16, but she paid for it in full on her own. She bought herself a fully loaded BMW 430i convertible and had it completely pimped out in her signature style. The entire car is wrapped in bright swaths of color with a large decal of her face on the hood, accompanied by her signature and a heart. The car made headlines earlier this year when Justin Bieber told JoJo to burn it. I guess he isn't a fan of the rap job. He later apologized, probably because his PR team told him to. But see what didn't seem to care, and why should she? With the crazy personalization she added to it, the car is worth over $60,000. That's a pretty sweet ride for a 16-year-old. JoJo Siwa has made millions in her rise to fame and continues to grow in popularity every day. Her all-around deal with Nickelodeon has launched her brand and afforded her a great life so far. She has no problem spending some of her riches on quirky and interesting things. As she gets older, we'll see what she continues to spend her money on. But her childlike spirit has already filled her home with some of the most flashy and out-of-the-box items imaginable.
how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it.